Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a system called Ubix. And it says on here that Ubix stands for Universal Business Intelligence Computing Systems. Ubix Linux is an open source Debian based Linux distribution geared towards data acquisition, transformation, analysis, and presentation. And you got some links up here. So this is for your download. This is gives you a, a install, a step by step guide and then how to use it. So uh, I've already got it downloaded in a virtual machine. So it uses a Calamari's installer. The installer is pretty straightforward and easy. So nothing special there. But uh, it says right here that, you know, let's read up a little bit and see. Ubix Linux purpose is to offer a tiny but versatile data lab. Ubix Linux is easily accessible, resource efficient, and completely portable on a simple USB key. Ubix Linux is a perfect tool set for learning data analysis, analysis and artificial intelligence basics to small to medium data sets. And you got ready to use, easy to learn, highly versatile, self-sufficient, yet extensible, low to no cost, and best of breed. So it is Debian based. And you got a couple of screenshots uh, from your pocket to the cloud. Uh, let you know how to put it on a USB, open in a virtual machine, or put it on bare metal. So right here, most of these apps right here, I mean, uh, a lot of them that, that are these apps that it uses for its uh, AI and development and things, they're most just web apps. So these are apps that you could pretty much put on any distro itself. You know what I mean? But uh, they got it all right here, bun bundled up in one uh, place. So, you know. So if it's something you're looking for, it makes it easy to find. So let's head on over to the virtual machine and take a look at Ubix Linux. Okay, we're here on a virtual machine now, and you can see that uh, Ubix Linux is a. Uh, it looks very good. Everything looks good on here. The wallpaper looks good. The uh, the layout looks good. It is using the GNOME desktop environment, and they've uh, they've uh, themed it pretty good. It looks very very good. Uh, you have a panel on the top which has your system tray on the right, which is the normal standard one button that opens up all the options. So you got your volume, wired control, settings, lock, and your power menus. And in the middle, you have your calendar and uh, event notifier. So you can set events right here. Just pick a date, you know, add some info, and set up your event. And then on the left, this just opens up your search. And if you have multiple desktops, you'll be able to choose them right here. All right. And then on the bottom, you have your uh, dock panel. And this pretty much launches your application launcher, which is the launch pad. And then you have your pinned applications. So right here you have services, PG admin, Jupyter Lab, Superset, Metal, LibreOffice, Terminal, Files, and your web browser, which is Firefox ESR. That pretty much lets you know that it's Debian. And you see the ESR on Firefox. All right, so if you open up this app right here, services, what it does is uh, it opens up uh, basically to these other apps that are pinned right here on the, on the on this panel down here, or if you want to call it a dock, dock panel, whatever you want to call it. Not all of them, just like these first four right here. They're pretty much these four right here. So they're all, you know, part of the same group. And these are all just web apps. So if you open them up, it opens up a web app. So I'll open up, let's say PG. Yeah, and it opens up in a web app. And then from right here, if you had an account with them, you just, you know, set up your email and your password and whatnot, and then uh, be able to log in. So PG admin login is the first one that we click. The second one is Jupiter, yeah. And same thing, you know, if you had a lo ID login, you just go ahead and log in and do your business on here. And the same goes for for the next two. So that'll be superset and metal. So you just open up the web apps and log in and do whatever it is you do on there. As far as any, uh, I know it says something about AI and all that, but basically it's, uh, it's just using these web apps. 
to get to your system. They're not native apps, but then, you know, you could download native apps and use them, but this just makes it easier, you know. But like I said, you know, you also got the LibreOffice, Terminal, Files, and your web browser. And then as far as your applications that are installed in the system, it's pretty bare. It's a bare minimum system, which is uh, pretty clean. So, you know, this launch pad only has one page and you got your calculator, pretty much uh, files in Firefox, which is already on a panel. But you also have an image viewer, a text editor, and a video player. And then you have your standard office suite. So if you open on this, it'll give you your uh, all of your uh, separated office uh, packages. Then you got your preference uh, packages, which has extensions, software and updates, settings, input method, tweaks, and advanced network. And then you have your standard system tools, like your system monitors, advanced network, disk, fonts, logs, characters, help, software, disk usage analysis, and then, of course, Ubix, this is pretty much the same one of these pin apps that are down here. So if not for anything, I would highly recommend this just because of the lightweightness of it and the ease of use. It, this is a, this is a beautiful system. Like I said, this is a GNOME system that uh, it's not your standard GNOME. It's a, well, it is almost, but it's it just it just looks pretty. It looks very nice and everything works real good. It's using Debian very well. Uh, typically, when I'm like on KDE or GNOME, I can feel lagginess with those systems, especially in a virtual machine. But with this one, I feel no lagginess whatsoever. Everything just opens up smooth. Everything works properly. It, it, it feels good. Yeah, everything works pretty good. So let me open up a terminal. Let's see. Uh, let's look at some system resources real quick just to see. Uh, how good it is working so I'll do a sudo app install being Debian I might have to ask you into the system but we'll try sudo first all right so I did they do have sudo sudoers should I say off the top so that's good so now let's take a look at htop to get our system resources. Yeah, it's only using a gig of memory. And I only put two gigs of memory on this box. And like I said, it's, it's very snappy. It's using GNOME in a way that I haven't seen any other distro use it. It's using it very, very good. And uh, load averages are very low. So yeah, this 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 system is a killer. Uh, you know what, before I do that, let's take a look at NeoFetch. And you can see right here, let me make this a little bit bigger so we can all see it. So this, the OS is Ubix GNU Linux 1, Arun Arena. And the kernel it's using is 5.10. And you can see the desktop environment is known 3.38.6. And then you got your theme, icons, terminal, CPU, GPU, and memory. All right. So it's, yeah, like I said, it's geared more towards developers and things like that. But honestly, I would use this as a regular system. I, I really would. I don't even like GNOME, but I like this system. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, that's how good it looks. You know what I mean? It looks good. It works good. And it responds good. One of the main reasons why I like using OpenBox, because OpenBox just responds. Like, as soon as you click on something, it happens. You know what I mean? And on this system, I'm getting that exact same feeling on a virtual machine with only two gigabytes of memory. And it's just snappy. It's working good. So Ubix Linux, yeah, they, they, they get a big, uh, big ups for me. They did it very well on here. I mean, it, it, it's working beautifully. No complaints whatsoever. It is working beautifully. Let's take a look at the disk analyzer. So yeah, yeah, everything on here is just, uh, on most systems, you see when you open up these apps before, you see that you'll get a sign right here. It'll have a message that says that it's loaded and it'll take a while. But this is just snappy as hell. It's just, you see, like right here, see this one, it said it's loaded, but it's actually calculating everything right here. But then, but it loaded pretty quick, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, this thing is, uh, this thing is working beautifully. And aesthetically, it just looks amazing. It does look very good. 
And of course, you know, if you, if you don't like the looks of things, you can always change them up, you know. It's, it's Linux. It's At the end of the day, it's still Linux. So you can do whatever it is you want to do with it. But yeah, this is a uh, Ubix Linux. You get a big props for me. You guys did good on this one. Uh, I don't even know from what year it's from and any like that. I have no information on it. But uh, this thing is working great. And I'm noticing right here, it is using Wayland. So whatever version of Wayland they're using, it's uh, it's working well. All right, I just wanted to show you guys this uh, distro because, like I said, it's a, it's a beautiful distro and everything works well. And uh, a lot of distros like this, they go under the radar because, like I said, they're uh, they're catering they're catering to you know to developers and things like that. But honestly, for an everyday user, this would be a great system. I would highly recommend it. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for this video. This was just a quick look. Take a look at Ubix to see if it actually had any AI or developer software here. But you can see they're all pretty much just web apps. But like I said, I would recommend this for daily use because this is a great system. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for me on this video, and I'm out.